At the 1936 annual meeting of the National Football League at the Ritz-Carlton in Philadelphia, the owners developed a plan for a more balanced league through the selection of the best college players. At the end of each season, each team owner would submit eight names of college prospects. The 72 names would be listed. Under the new system, the last place team in the league would get first choice from the 72. They would keep selecting players in reverse order of the league until the list was exhausted. In this very first National Football League draft, the lowest winning percentage team in the league was the Philadelphia Eagles. 1935 happened to be the year of the first Heisman Trophy. Thus, the Eagles selected Heisman Trophy winning quarterback Jay Berwanger of the University of Chicago. Fearing that they could not afford his purported $1,000 per game salary demand, they sold the rights to him over to the Chicago Bears. 1936 was also the first time all teams played the same number of games at 12 contests apiece. The 1936 episode of The Starters pits the Green Bay Packers up against the Boston Redskins. The Packers, led by Don Hudson, were tied in the Western Division with the Chicago Bears with two games to play. The Bears lost their last two games, vaulting the Packers into the playoff game against the Redskins. Boston had their first winning season in their history and were making their first trip to the playoffs. Since the Redskins received very little patronage during the season, George Marshall, owner of the team, spurned Boston for the Polo Grands in New York, where the Packers were always a big draw. Please sit back and enjoy this edition of The Starters.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Introducing the starting players for the Green Bay Packers. Left end, number 22, from Wisconsin, Milt Cantenbaum. Left tackle, number 64, from Southern California, Ernie Smith. Left guard, number 52, from Northwestern, Tiny Ingeretsen. Center, number 43, from Oregon State, George Svensson. Right guard, number 51, from Texas Christian, Lon Evans. Right tackle, number 53, from Illinois, Lou Gordon. Right end, number 14, from Alabama, Don Hudson. Quarterback, number 18, from Northwestern, Hank Bruder. Left halfback, number 25, from Nebraska, George Sauer. Right halfback, number 38, from Wisconsin, Arnie Herbert. Fullback, number 41, from Bucknell, Clark Hinkle. And head coach Earl Lambeau and the rest of the Green Bay Packers. Now, introducing the starting players for the Boston Redskins. Left hand, number 40, from Notre Dame, Wayne Milner. Left tackle, number 17, from Washington State, Turk Edwards. Left guard, number 21, from Mercer, Les Olson. Center, number 24, from Kansas, Frank Bausch. Right guard, number 29, from Ohio State, Jim Karcher. Right tackle, number 15, from San Francisco, Jim Barber. Right end, number 19, from Texas A&M, Charlie Malone. Quarterback, number 35, from Alabama, Wiley Smith. Left halfback, number 20, from West Virginia Wesleyan, Cliff Battles. Right halfback, number 13, from Gonzaga, Ed Justice. Fullback, number 23, from Colgate, Don Irwin. And head coach Ray Flaherty and the rest of the Boston Redskins. Your officials for today's game. Referee Wilmer Crowell from Philadelphia. Umpire Bobby Kahn from Chicago. Field Judge Bill Halloran from Providence. Headlinesman Maurice Meyer from Toledo. The captains will now meet with the officials at midfield for the coin toss. Green Bay has won the toss and chosen to receive. After nearly a week of rain, nearly 30,000 fans crowded the polo grounds on a beautiful sunny day for the championship. 
Don Hudson and the Packers lived up to their billing and proved way too much for the Redskins. They won the playoff in their fourth championship 21-6. Less than a week after the game, George Marshall announced he was moving the Redskins to his hometown of Washington, D.C. He made a deal to lease Griffith Stadium for the team. The Redskins have been there ever since.